In this video, I will teach you how to shorten an IPv6 address using standardized rules known as address compression. Network admins or anyone working with IP addresses would rather get rid of all unnecessary characters to make it easier to read, write, understand, and say. With that being said, let's get right into the video. First, we can remove any leading zeros. These are zeros that are at the start of each hex text. We can't remove any trailing zeros, which are zeros that are not at the beginning of the hex text. Let's apply this rule to this address. So in this first hex text, all three zeros are removed, leaving the letter C. We can also remove the leading zeros in the fourth and sixth hex text. In the second hex text, there are four zeros. Whenever you see four zeros, you want to remove three and leave one. There are zeros at the end of the third, fifth, and eighth hex debt. But since they are trailing zeros, they will be written the same. If the rule doesn't apply to a hex debt, then simply bring the number down. As you can see, all the leading zeros in each hex debt have been removed. This already shortens this address a decent amount. Let's move on to the second compression rule with a new IPv6 address. Rule number two is to remove consecutive sections of zeros with a double colon. This can be used only once per address and can be used anywhere in the address. In this address, you see three consecutive groups of zeros. This meets the criteria of rule number two, allowing the groups of zeros to be replaced with the double colon. Let's try another example. As you can see, there are three consecutive groups of zeros towards the middle of the address. Once again, we can replace all these zeros with a double colon. Now that you know both rules, pause the video and try to apply both of them to all three addresses. I will reveal the correct answers in a couple seconds, so make sure to pause the video. If you got any of these wrong, feel free to re-watch the rule you struggled with and come back to this part. I guarantee you will understand why the correct answers are abbreviated the way they are. If you found this video helpful, consider leaving a like and subscribing for more easy-to-understand, simplified explanations.